Hello, welcome to Tonalist Landscape Painting with M. Francis McCarthy, your painter in residence. And the um, lovely little painting that I'm bringing you today is called In the Meadow. And it's a three and a half by five inches painting. Now I say that because I had uh, somebody on Facebook asked me about one of these three and a half by fives, whether it was feet or inches, and I'm like, wow. I'd be one day, one day, I might, I might do these giant uh, uh, paintings that are three and a half feet by five. That would be actually really cool, and um, it's it's probably in my future. We'll see. But for now. It's three and a half by five, and one of the main reasons for that is I got this very small studio at the Quarry Art Center over here in Whangarei, uh, New Zealand, and uh, you know it's not very big. And uh, I find the larger I work, uh, first of all, I've got this huge amount of light glare that comes off of the uh, parking lot. Um, just all sorts of logistics problems, which I'm hoping will go away in the new year. I'm supposed to, I've got dibs on a nice uh, new uh, the, the studio they're building that's bigger. And um, all of you can keep your fingers crossed for me on that. Anyway, uh, this little painting, I'm pretty happy with it. I shared some uh, in-progress shots on Instagram probably a couple weeks ago and uh, got some help with the title. I do like the title quite a lot, In the Meadow. It's a good, strong title. And uh, actually, there's a Joe Walsh song I like a lot that I will spare you right now. I was going to sing it for you, but uh, we'll spare you, you know. Uh, the scene is uh, basically, I painted this uh, way back in like 2011 and uh, the story is I was I was really I was trying to do some more plein air paintings so I was going out in the countryside around here. It was summer like it is now. It's summer here in New Zealand. We're in the, uh, the bottom of the planet so the seasons are flipped. Uh, from most of you but uh, summer and we and my wife were going around and um, you know finding spots and painting and uh, this was a nice spot that uh, one of the uh, farmers uh, out here uh, he had some land that was up in the hills and he told me about and uh, I was out there painting and I did do a plein air uh, version of this which looks nothing like this and uh, and actually a more uh, finished painting which he ended up buying um, uh, and uh, again, it was just in the pile of reference, and I was thinking, well, I there were some things about that other painting. In fact, you'll see some things I'm going to resolve here. You see those two trees over on the uh, on our right. Um, I'm going to be resolving that. There's some funkiness going on with the composition, and uh, one of the uh, great things about painting a lot is you start to um, you start to learn about some of the traps that are inherent in composition. Now some things you can make work if you just take a real sort of photographic stance and uh, kind of duplicate what you see, people will accept it, but uh, there's many things compositionally that might be a lot better if you didn't put them in. And uh, you're going to see which one of these trees I end up removing, and uh, it didn't take me long to do that either and uh, the painting was dramatically improved because of it. Now, this is a, a little painting and uh, I, I really like it. I like, the, I like the contrast between the the cool grays in the sky and the the warms in the um, the grass and you get that a lot out here uh, in the summer because unlike uh, California where I'm from you know when it's summer there everything's dry and it isn't going to rain. It's not going to rain for a long time. It doesn't rain in the summer in California. Um, but here in New Zealand it does. So um, in fact if it doesn't uh, everyone starts getting worried and, and, and crying. But we do get the dry grasses. Um, however the, the clouds will come in it will rain and mostly because it's an island it doesn't have quite enough geographical uh, nonce to uh, to turn those clouds away um, maybe more so in the South Island where they've got these uh, you know these big Alp like uh, uh, mountains there we don't really have big mountains here in the north it's kind of it's quite hilly but uh, no mountains to speak of anyway um, yeah I like this kind of thing and uh, I've, uh, you know, I like I said, I took a pass at it way back in the day, back when I was doing 
five color passes and you can barely see my brush strokes and things like that. Uh, it was a successful painting back in the day. It was probably an 8 by 12 um, Anyway, I kind of had this in mind to... Uh, actually, it's another one of the first ones that I did my little 5 by 7 studies for when I did the, uh, the, the slightly larger version. Uh, you can see what's happening with that tree. It's going, it's going, and now it's gone. And you can see how much more relaxing it is to have a little space that your eye can go in and go around that tree. We're not stopping it. So a um, little compositional lesson for you there. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm always passing along some little tidbits for you guys. Um, I do want to mention again before the video is over, uh, sorry that big video was up and many of you saw it. I had to take it down. There's a lot of reasons for that. But um, I did have a few people uh, contact me. Um, uh, you know that signed up to the mailing list and we're looking for it and they are now watching the high resolution version so if you're missing it uh, it's pretty simple it's gonna cost you an email address and I have to say I'm not gonna spam you or anything you know I'm basically just a painter here uh, making my way through the world and uh, I like sharing my work I like sharing information but uh, some things I just don't want in the hands of the big giant conglomerate corporation and that's you know my prerogative since it's my work and uh, hopefully you understand and you'll sign up for the list and you'll have access to that big fat video and you can just go to town anyway I'll be back tomorrow with another lovely landscape painting another lovely tonalist landscape painting meanwhile please take good care and stay out of trouble